Um, yeah, that seems to fit in. Cool, so uh, thanks everyone for coming to the last video, Brains. Um, I have a couple of words that I wanted to go through, but I have to uh, throw Jake Fashion that printed on the back of Delta Green character sheet. <laughs> um, so I'm going to read all of this on the sheet, because I get nervous when I try and talk in front of a big crowd of people, and uh, this is one of the biggest crowds that I've ever spoken in front of, which I guess is a good indication of video brains as a whole. Um, I've been running well, the events for about three years now, and the current team without change has been at it for a year or so. So, I mean, at the start, I want to thank everyone that's, that spoke tonight, because I think all the talks are fantastic, and I'm really happy that we went out on, uh, on a, I'd like to say a consistent time, but fuck off, I'm um, stand over here, shall we? Um, but I also want to thank, um, I want to thank uh, Rose, Roller, Ollie, and Thryn. I can't say your name, I'm sorry. Um, They've all been uniformly excellent, and I couldn't have done it without them or Hannah, Alan, and Will, who helped us out previously. Um, the whole current team is really good. Uh, Rose is a joy in the best of us and at the Labour convention, being like the face of Labour games now, so uh, she's gone on the good things. Ollie's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, working with Friend over the last two years has been really phenomenal. I mean, originally we started out with like, work friends, um, but she's pretty much my best friend now, and as we wrap up on video brains, I feel like a friendship with Fringe and her ever-changing Fringe is uh, probably one of the most valuable things for me to take forwards. And so, thanks, buddy. Thank you. Fringe is pretty silly there, though, isn't it? Um, but I, over the last three years and 14 video games, um, every talk here I feel like it's been interesting and it's had a point. And sadly, I'm going to break this trend by delving into a bit of a whimsy and just a little bit of nostalgia. It's difficult to come to an end on something. I feel like I've put much better. It's difficult to come to the end of a thing, you know, even standing there and watching for him kind of be like, oh, two minutes and we're going to end video games forever. It's difficult. I... It's kind of bittersweet. I mean, I'm glad that I'm not going to have to wake up tomorrow morning and find six more speakers for another event in four weeks. And as a team, all of us, uh, we've found some success in various things that we're doing. And so we're just way busier than we used to be. And so the idea of putting a Video Brains event together month after month after month just became less appealing than it maybe should be. But I adore Video Brains. And I feel a little sick of it now, in all honesty. But that's what happens when you do something every month for three years without pause. Um, when I started Video Brains, I was working in marketing. And I remember that I was reading from a nervous breakdown and I'd just come back to work. And I was freelancing occasionally and I didn't really know anyone. But I saw that there were some problems in the games industry around me and I felt powerless to change them. So. Video Brains for me started out as a means to give myself a voice to talk about things that I thought were problematic, that I felt like I could change. Um, but I quickly learned the most valuable thing I could do with a platform was to actually give other people those voice. And I'm proud of what we've achieved here. And while we did have a few offers, I wasn't keen on anyone else using the Video Brains name or handing over the reins to anyone else. And so I thought it was time to take a break and see what comes up. And I can't speak for anyone else in the team, but I'm still committed to the same ideals that led to me starting video games. I still want to push the game industry towards being more acceptable, accepting of people who aren't white cis men. And I feel like the fact that the audience here is, I mean, I'll generously say 60-40, is, is a massive success in a crowded industry where, honestly, it's usually 9 out of 10 guys are just white guys with beards. There's still a lot of beards here, but you're all okay guys. <laughs> and, oh, I am nervous. Um, so yeah, I mean, I also wanted to help push the message that the culture of games is the most important thing that we can do, and it's the most important thing we've always had here, and it's the reason that we're in the field of play and not just doing spreadsheets on Macs or something. And finally, I really hate Q&As, and so it was a really nice excuse to just not do those. Fuck Q&As, man. I don't think this is a full stop for video brains, but if you will excuse the metaphor, it's a semicolon. If we wrap up on the monthly event and think about what's next, and I think a lot of us that are involved with it at a lot of levels want to just stop and think about what's next, and whether, whether that means that we come back in some way or fashion, who knows, it's too early to say, but for the monthly event, this is, this is for real, no marketing, this is us. And we have brief, I've been talking long enough. Um, thank you to everyone for helping to make Video Brains as an idea or reality. We couldn't do this for empty room, so every person here would have come to one event or several. You're all part of this. This isn't one person. This isn't, this isn't just the team. This is everyone that has come to every one of these. If you've ever tweeted about us, if you've thrown money into the Patreon, or you've paid a little extra for zines or anything like this, you're all a really key part of it. And 
I don't think I could have kept doing this for three years, month after month, as grinding as it ended up being, without your continued enthusiastic support, and it really means so much to me. So, thank you as ever for coming down. Thank you so much for letting me stand here three years later, and thank you for a successful one, rather than quietly vanishing into the distance. And it has been, honestly, just a complete honour to create Mad Bullshit for you. And it's a pleasure to get to know so many of you personally, even though the fact fact I am, terrible at socialising in large groups, which unfortunately I seem to have created. So, that's me, that's three years of video brains, and let's see what comes next, shall we?